All right, so this is going to be a quick video on how to install AUR packages. Um, the AUR is the Arch Linux user repository. There are package managers that you can install to help you manage these packages, but I don't see a reason why not to do it manually. So um, basically what you want to do is pull up the package that you want to install. Um, so I'm on the Arch Linux user repository here um, on the Arch Linux website. I'm just looking at um, popular packages here. So uh, once you find the packages that you want to install, the first thing you want to do is make sure it's not broken. So I'm just going to click on Google Chrome here as an example. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to read the comments. Um, and it seems to be fine. So no one's complaining about it being broken, which is good. Um, and then here is the git clone URL. So what you want to do is clone it. So go into the directory where you want to install um, well, keep the source rather of the package that you'd like to install. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone Google Chrome. So aur.archlinux.org slash and then the name of the package. So Google Chrome. Okay, it's going to clone it into a directory and then you can go in that directory. I'm just going to remove the git and the git ignore it's just out of preference is there a git ignore no okay so uh, once that's done if you want you can take a peek at the package build so this is basically what pacman is going to look at when it's building and installing the package that you pulled from the aur so um, every package on the aur follows a very uh, strict format um, including a file like this. So in here, there's the dependencies, there's the license, there's the architecture, there is, um, and then at the bottom, there's all the functions that it's going to be using. Now to install the package, all you have to do is type make pkg, right, make package, and then the s flag is required to check the package build file that we just opened and install all the dependencies that are required. So you hit enter there, it'll download from the upstream, and then it will check for dependencies and install those as well. Okay, it's building it right now. This is the name of the function in the build file, right? So starting package here, oops. And then creating package here, generating some info files, and now it's gonna compress it. And what you're gonna be left with is a package file ready for Pacman to use to install so it's taking this right here. Uh, it's a Debian package, and it is making it ready for Pac-Man. So once that's done, you're going to be left with a compressed package right here. And this is what Pac-Man is going to use to install the package. So what you can do for that is now you can use Pac-Man, okay, and then dash U for upgrade. This is the only way to install um, packages manually. And then what you're going to do is you're going to type in the package, and there it is right there. So make sure that you select the one that's pkg.tar.xz, right? I'm going to hit enter, right? And of course, you need to be root. So I'm going to sudo, I'm going to type in my password, and then it is going to give you the prompt just like Pac Man would if you're installing from the official repositories. So we're going to install, we're going to say yes. Perfect. And now it is installed, and now you can run it just like any other package. So now that you know the long way to install an AUR package, you can actually do this in one line. I'll show you the short way here. So um, I will just delete the build. Okay. And then what you can do to do it all in one command is make package, synchronize, install, and then clean. So this will get rid of any of the source files that aren't required at the end, right? So it's already been built. Um, it sees that and then it is going to offer you to install it, right? Um, and normally if this wasn't um, built, obviously you would build it first and then it would give you this prompt just like the pacman-u option here, right? So it's just doing that, that's this tag. 
um, and then after you install it, it'll clean everything up. And then it's all done. And then cleaning up here. To uninstall the package, you can just type in pacman um, and install it the regular way that you would. All right, so I hope that helped you learn how to install packages from the Arch Linux user repository. This is very useful, especially because a lot of software that is not av available in the official repositories is uh, most likely available in the AUR. So it's good to know how to install it like that. It's pretty much as easy as installing something from GitHub. Um, it's, it's, it's even easier because uh, Pacman is doing most of the work. Other than that, I hope that you learned something. I hope this has helped you out. Uh, please like and subscribe for more content.